In the name of Jesus, Kabo, Rabbas. Continue to pray. Continue Praise to give. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to move from your seat. Shake somebody's hand, somebody you don't know. Tell the person it is good to see you again. Come on, just move from your seat. Magnify Jesus. Magnify the Lord. Uh, magnify Jesus. Come on, move from your seat. Magnify the Lord. And everybody magnify.
singing praises. I love to stand and rejoice. Lift my hands and raise my voice. Come on, I love to be. I love to be in your presence. Come on, with your people. Singing praises. Come on, we say. Oh! 
Save me, Lord. 
awesome Lord you are awesome
face to face I look upon your countenance And see the fullness of your grace I can only bow down and say Him together, we give you all the praise. Come on, let's worship him. Rabba Kabanda Bashida Bakada Bradia Barosh Talamanda Rabba Kapataliba Barianda Bakade Bazabandaliba Rabba Kapataliba Barianda Bakabandaliba Rabba Kapataliba Barianda Rabba Kapataliba Rabba Rabba <laughs> for it how many people are in expectation come on are you in expectation yes, I'm not hearing you are you in expectation yes sir mind-blowing miracles mind-blowing miracles mind-blowing miracles Isaiah 43 Isaiah 43 verse 5 and verse 6 let's take this as a prayer point and then 
I release Prophet Ernest to come. Let's read it together. One go. Fear not, for I am with thee. Oh, I'm not here. Come on. Let, let's say it one more time. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west. May the Lord gather you from every part of the earth. Amen. Whatever God has for you that is in the north, or is in the south, yes. or is in the east, my God. or in the west, yes. may the Lord gather it to you. Amen. My God, I said, let there be a gathering. Amen. Come on, shout the big amen. 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 He said, fear not. Fear not, verse 5. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east, and I will gather thee from the west. And then verse 6. I will say to the north, give up. Hear me. Anything, anywhere that is holding on to anything that belongs to you. Your prayer is this week and this month. You are giving up, giving up. Amen. I'm not here. Come on, say give up, give up. Give, give up, up, give up. I'm not here. Say give up, give, give up. up. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we're going to lift up our voice. And you are going to spread this prayer with me. I will say to the north, give up. To the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar. And my daughters from the ends of the earth. Amen. 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 Verse 7. He said, verse 7, he said, even everyone that is called by my name, it, I have created them for my glory. Anything that God has created for your glory, Amen. we command it to come to you. Amen. Amen. You know, he said, it's possible that your destiny helper is all the way in California. We are saying to California, give up. Give, give up. up. I'm not here. Say give up. Give, give up. up. I'm not here. Come on, shout it. Say give up. Give, give up. up. We said to the north, give up. We said to the south, give up. Give we said to the east and the west, hold give on up. back. Gather to us everything that belongs to us. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. lift up your hand with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of as Jesus. As I lift up my voice. As I lift up my voice. Any force of darkness. Any force of darkness. Any human being. Any human peace. Any kind. of of entity any kind of entity that is holding on to anything that is holding on to anything that belongs to me that belongs to from me from the north from the north from the south from, from the, the south from the east from, from the east and the west and, and the west, west. I, am commanding, I, am I am commanding based on the word of god based, based on, on the, the word, word of god to give up now to give, give up, up now let go my miracles let now let go my miracles, miracles now, now. My destiny help us now in the name of Jesus. Let go now. Let go now. Let go now. Give up now. Give up now. Give up now. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice. Come on. Go rabba shadaba kappa da 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 da. is holding, let go now. Whatever the south is holding, let go now. Whatever the west is holding, let go now. In the name of Jesus, Father, we command that the northeast and west south to release our miracles and our breakthroughs and our signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. We decree right now, we speak Father God to the signs or the earth in Jesus' name in the sky and the ground. Whatever is hidden, let it be released. Let it be released. Oh, 
I've been blessed to these two weeks. Just breathe your name.
hands together. Oh. Amen. And take your seat. Amen. We thank God for tonight. Oh. You have done very, very well. Breathe. Amen. If there have been any time where prayer is needed in our homes and our lives, and indeed in America, this is the time. Amen. This is the time. There have never been a time that this nation needs prayer like this time. There are so many demons released over America. You have no idea. You have no idea the demons that have been released over the land. My God. Amen. Amen. Today, you, you meet five to ten people. One is depressed. Mental issues all over the place. There have never been a time in this nation that there is so much confusion. All kinds of demonic activity. Demonic activity when people, when, when even doctors, doctors don't even know who a woman is. If you ask a woman, if you ask a doctor who is a woman, they cannot define who a woman is. That's how confused this nation is. Yeah. There have, there have been any, let me tell you something. You have no idea what is going on. Demons are infiltrating into homes. Yeah, families, children. Listen, it, this season that we are in, eh, if you don't pray, by the time you realize, demons have taken over your family. I'm telling you, demons, your children. You have no idea what is happening. Mm. Say amen. Amen. I mean, the, 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 the kind of spiritual atmosphere we have created in this church is amazing. Do you know that? Put your hands together. Do you know that people will be driving, they will stop by our church building when the church is closed and they will come and just touch the building and pray. Yeah. 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 They will just come and touch the building and pray. It tells you that spiritually we are recognized as a powerhouse. Amen. Come on, put Hallelujah. your hands together. Yeah. Powerhouse. My God. Say amen. Amen. Powerhouse. Here in Westchester. Powerhouse in New York. Say amen. amen. So I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful for the prophetic that have been released these past two weeks. I thought you were clapping. The testimonies just keep coming. A lot of testimonies, miracles, healings, breakthroughs, things that are happening to people here, right in this church. One, one, one night, um, Prophet Ernest spoke to one of our ladies about um, some situation on the job. I think it was a Monday night. This situation has been going on for a while. Pick it up, spoke about it, and on Tuesday, she was called to come to work. My God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophetic. My God. Say amen. Amen. Tonight, may you not miss your prophetic word. Amen. Am I talking to somebody here? Angels are all over the place ministering to us. Amen. Amen. And I want to thank God for the servant of God. He is my son, but he's a servant of God amen. that has availed himself. Amen. Come on, give God a better clap offering than that. You know. When you know a person that loves God and loves what he does, when you see one, you know one. Man. You know you have met one. Man. His daughter's birthday is today. Was it today? Today. His daughter's birthday. Man. Left his daughter in England to come and minister to us. Give God a better clap offering than that. Man. Yeah. I do that all the time. So I know when I see one like me, I see somebody that love God and love God's work and love God's people and love. You see him ministering. You, he, he can't stop. You can see ministry inside him. He love what he's doing. Mm. Come on, say amen. 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 This, 
this year, this year in our um, conference in Ghana, um, he's going to come ahead of us. Um, he will, uh, a, a week ahead of us, um, I believe, um, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday we'll have an all night, it's pre-convention. And then Sunday he will end because he, have to be, he has to be here in December. He has to be here in December. Say amen. So December he'll be here and then I will leave here for him and I'll be there. Amen. And when, when the, Amen. And then I know you can handle him and you'll take care of him. you do that and bless him. Say amen. Amen. So tonight, let's just receive the ministry of prophet and Usu all the way from London, my son. For the last night for this conference, let's stand together. Put your hands together. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. for Jesus come on keep clapping for Jesus amen please leave your seat go to someone and say to them blessing is all over you blessings blessings are all over you blessing and honor glory and power Lord, a clap of it. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Please help me appreciate my father, the bishop. Amen. Clap your hands for Hallelujah. the man of God over living faith, the national church. Yo, come on, I don't like that. Do it better. Hallelujah. Do it better. Do it better. Do it better. Amen. Stretch Hallelujah. your hands on him and say, We love you, bishop. We love you, bishop. May God bless you with long life. Long life. And a lot of what? Money. Hallelujah. A lot of what? Money. Money. You are going three times. A lot of what? Money. Money. Number two. Money. Money. Number three. Money. Money. Amen. God bless you, Bishop. What a wonderful conference it has been. Yeah. Amen. Let's appreciate the first lady. Boop, Hallelujah. Boop, 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 boop. We are going to the word of God of this house for 
his support, his dedication, his love. Stretch your hands on him and say, we love you, First Lady. We love you, First Lady. May God bless you. May God bless you. With long life. With long life. Favor. Favor. Multiplication. Multiplication. And abundant supply of money. And abundant supply of money. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for all our leaders here. And clap your hands for yourself. Some of you have been through all the days. Some of you too have been, you know, here and there, here and there. But we love you like that. Amen. How many of you have been blessed throughout these two weeks? I have been blessed. I have been blessed. Amen. I said I have been blessed. Usually when I travel to do conferences, I want to finish and go home. But it's like this one is paining me. Yeah. Yeah. If I, if I go anywhere, and you know, surprisingly, I've never preached for anybody in my life more than five days. Never. I've never done that. Never. Yeah. The last time I preached for a lot of days was nine days in Trinidad, but it was about seven churches. But one church for continuously. If you give me one week program, I'll tell you to do it three days. So I can go back to my church. Yeah, and, and you know, finish you three days, go. Even if you give me five days, I'll do three, then disappear. But this is my father's house. Yeah. Amen. I can stay here for one month. You want me to stay? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Wave your hand to Jesus. I want you to thank him for how far he has brought you. From day one, 21st, 21st of May to today, 4th of June. Bless the Lord. Bless him. Come on, bless the Lord. Bless him. Bless the Lord. Wave your hand and bless his name. For the miracles and testimonies. In the name of Jesus.
Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Give the Lord a clap offering. Did you bring your oil? Bring your bottle of oil? If you brought it, wave at me. Let me know you brought it. Good, good one. We have a lot to do today. It's the last day. In the morning, I was doing service like it was the last. Yeah, usually my last days, I put in a lot. But tonight, we are going to do a lot. I'm going to speak the word of God. Pray for you. We are going to thank God. I'm going to pray for business people, career people, uh, mothers, fathers, families. Uh, pray for all school-going people. Um, um, pray for all health, health workers and anoint everybody, church workers. And then we go home. Amen? Amen. Are, you, are you happy to be here? Yeah. Let's go to 1 Samuel 16. I will take you from the verse of 13. And then I'll be preaching from verse 1. But I'll take you from 13. It said, Yeah. Then Samuel took the horn of oil, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said to him, Surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Let our master now command your servants who are before you to seek out a man who is skillful, who is a skillful player on the harp. And it shall be that he will play it with his hand when the distressing spirit from God is upon you, and you shall be well. So Saul said to his servant, Provide me now a man who can play well and bring him to me. Then one of the servants answered and said, Look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor, and a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person. And the Lord is with him. Shout amen. amen. Father, bless your word and let your word bless every life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So once upon a time, King Saul was the king. Have you heard that before? Yeah. And, um, and God sent the prophet Samuel, 1 Samuel 16, 1, to Saul to tell him that he's about to take the kingdom from his hand. Say, mm. Yeah. And Samuel comes to Saul and delivers the message. He loves him, but, but he has to deliver what the Lord says. So he said to him, God is about to take this kingdom from you. If you read the scriptures, it said, when Samuel was about to go, Saul stretched and grabbed his garment and it torn. And when it tore, the prophet said, the same way the garment has been torn, so shall the kingdom be taken from him. Now, God took the kingdom from Saul because Saul, when he was asked to kill King Aga and his people, he decided that he's not going to do it. Against the instructions of the Lord. So, disobedient cost or disobedient made God take the kingdom from Saul's hand. I want to bring to your attention that it is important as a child of God to do all you can to obey the instructions of God. Amen. Because disobedience can lead to losses. Anytime a believer disobeys God's instruction, you may not see the implications, but I want you to understand that every disobedient act will cost you. So when the prophet came and said, God is going to take the kingdom from you, you notice that it did not happen instantly. So continued to rule for a while. And the Lord said to Samuel, I have found a man after my own heart. In other words, if God gives you something and you don't do it seriously and you start becoming proud, 
arrogant and disobedient, God always has someone on the substitute bench. Am I talking to you here? Everything God has given you, you have to be careful to give him honor and glory. God blessed you with a job. You've got to be careful to thank him and honor him for that blessing. God gives you a marriage. You've got to be careful to thank him and honor him for that blessing. God gives you a miracle money, blessing, career, whatever it is, you've got to thank God for that blessing and don't become arrogant in the blessing because God can substitute you. Oh yes. Oh yes, are you here? Tap your neighbor and say, are you here? I pray for you that may God not take you out and bring someone in, but rather may God sustain you in the blessing which he has given to you. I prophesy to you, every blessing that God has given to you, he will bless you more and sustain you in that blessing. So the Bible said, may the Lord bless you and keep you. I prophesy, you shall be kept in your blessing. I said you shall be kept in your blessing. Your blessing will not become temporary, but it shall become permanent for your generations yet unborn. Your children, your children's children, rise up and shout, I believe this testimony. May God bless you and let the blessing run through your bloodline. In the name of Jesus, receive that blessing. In this anointing service, one of the purposes of the anointing is to keep you in your blessed place. Lift your right hand. It's to keep you in the blessing which God has given you. Some people get blessed and give them some years. Then they become broke. Let it never be your story. I said let it never be your story. You see, when you check the history of Israel, you realize that Saul's family did not qualify to be kings. But God showed him mercy and gave him that blessing. Some of you, if God was to do it by generations and God was to do it by checking your history, some of you wouldn't have been here. You wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have qualified. How many of you are here knows that you don't qualify for the blessing you have? I don't think you are in church. You don't, you realize that this blessing I have, I actually don't qualify. But by the mercies of God, and he has given this blessing to me. I want you to stand up and say, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. It is important to recognize that this blessing is but by the mercies of God. It's important to understand that you do not qualify. But God gave it to you anyway. Yeah. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't qualify. But he gave it to me. I don't like that. Say, I don't qualify. Say, I did not qualify. But God gave it to me. Anyway, say, God gave it to me. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. The moment you forget that, you are in for trouble. The moment you forget, there are a lot of forgetful Christians. Forgetful like Saul. He forgot that he comes from the tribe of Benjamin. He forgot. At a point, he, he, he started thinking that the kingdom was for him perpetually. And he could do whatever he wants. But always never forget where God picked you from. You are not here. Are you here? The day you forget where God picked you from, that's when your trouble begins. God said to Samuel, how long, please be seated, will you mourn for Saul? Seeing that I have rejected him, may God never reject you. I don't like that, amen. I said, may God never reject you. Wherever you stand in front of God, I declare that may he never forget you. Any position you occupy, may God never forget you. May God never forget you. You see, 
It's a curse to be forgotten by the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say it's a curse. To be, to be forgotten by the Lord. Samson said, oh Lord, remember me this once. And God remembered him. I pray for you. May, may, may God never forget your name. Amen. May he not forget your deeds. Amen. May he not forget your face. Amen. May he not forget your life. Amen. May he not forget your destiny. Amen. But may God continuously remember you. Amen. And lift you up above the storms. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So he said to Samuel, I have found myself again. And the man that God found was not from the king's family. He was from the house of Jesse. And nobody knew Jesse. Nobody knew him. Yeah. When I asked Samuel, he said he asked God, what? So who is Jesse? Who is he? You found a king? Whose house? He said, Jesse the Bethlehemite. He said, ah, Jesse. God was making a big shift. You that was behind. That nobody knows you. Nobody expected you. After this conference. The shift is coming over you. There is a massive spiritual shift. That is happening. God is moving resources. Into your house. Into your life. God is moving bigger positions. For you that was behind the queue. You that don't have a name. Don't have a family. Don't have recognition. Don't have integrity, don't have pedigree, don't have degree. God is about to give it to you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to 20 people who will touch this altar and I pray that in the next seven days, let there be a shift, a shift, a shift that will move you from the back to the front, that will shift you from the quarry clay all upon the hill. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a massive shift I said, run and touch the altar and say, my destiny is shifting. My destiny is shifting. My destiny is shifting. My destiny is shifting. My life is shifting. My destiny is shifting. There is a shift. 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 Lift your hands and shout. My life is shifting. My finances are shifting. My favor is shifting. My miracle is happening. My promotion is happening. I don't know who came to church, but after this service, I see a massive outbreak of testimonies. May you be part of it. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. You may not see it yet, but it's about to happen for you. God is giving you a sign. This is your sign. Clap your hands and shout. I'm walking in my miracles. I'm walking in my testimonies. I'm walking in my breakthrough. I'm walking in my healing. I don't like that. In the name of Jesus, in the next 24 hours, there is an outbreak of miracles, an outbreak of overflow, an outbreak of liberation, an outbreak, an outbreak, an outbreak, an outbreak. Receive your portion. I said, receive your portion. Seven days. I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Look at your face and say, Tomorrow by this time, you shall be the next in line for your testimony. Hey. Come on, shout, hey! Dance into your miracle.
Bible. Want me to show you? It said the devil is the father of all lies. Do you know what father is? He has a wife. The wife has a parent. It's the mother-in-law. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. So said. Someone goes to the house of the Jesse. Here is where we are going to pray. And Jesse lines up his children that he thinks qualify to be kings and left David in the wilderness. If you read the book of Genesis uh, about the story of Joseph, Genesis 39, you will realize that Joseph was loved and so the father sent the other brothers to the wilderness and Joseph stays what? Whom? So it tells you that if you are loved, you don't go to the wilderness. But for David, the other brothers were home. And who, he was the one in the wilderness. Do you know why? So that perhaps if an animal kills him, that's it. The family will be free of his shame. But God said to Samuel, don't go to the wilderness. Go to the house. It means that even though David was in the wilderness, God saw him in the house. Where you are now, doesn't matter to God. Do you know where God sees you? He sees you at where you will be. 
Oh, you are not here. You may not have been there yet. You are below. But God sees you as the manager of that place. You may be down here. But God doesn't see you down. He sees you where? Up. Tap your neighbor and say, you are going up. Say to them, say, you are going up. The prophet took the oil. Then, Eliab comes and he said, surely this is the Lord's anointed. Then God said, no. Shammah came, no. All the seven came. And yet, the David's position, even though his father lined up people to occupy it, nobody occupied it. God did not allow anybody to occupy it until David was brought this leads me to tell you that what God has assigned to you this year, nobody can take it from you. Oh, you are not in church. Some of you are signed with an anointing to become millionaires. If you are here and you want to be a millionaire, I'm talking to you. That anointing, that is assigned for you. Nobody can take it from you. Some of you are here assigned to be prominent in your family. Nobody can take it from you. I said nobody can take it. Nobody can take it. Rise up and shout hallelujah. Stand on your feet. Shh. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Lift your hands. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. let not my position be taken by any man. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Let not my position. Let not. Let not. Come on, pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we lift up our voice in prayer. Let no man take our position. Let no man take our position. Let no man take my position. Whatever has been destined for my life, for me, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pick up your bottle of oils. Pick your bottle of oil and open it. I told you to bring two bottles. Take one. Take one. Just take one first. Two minutes, please. Take it. Take it. He is exalted. The king is exalted tonight. I will praise him. Open your bottles. Give me verse, verse 13. Verse 13. 13, not 18. Lift your bottles. The Bible said, By the anointing oil shall yokes be broken. I bless this oil prophetically as a spiritual and prophetic token to speak against every adversity, speak against every adversary, speak against every wickedness. Speak against every burden and every yoke. That after this prayer and this oil direction, your life will be liberated. The yoke will be broken off your head. In the name of Jesus. Then someone took the horn of oil, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of God came upon him. Anoint your hand. And lay it on your head. I want you to pay attention and be involved. Anoint your head. Let your hand be on your head. Those of you who are wearing Brazilian wig, find a way in between. Candala basaka telebre antosti ataya. Ikulebre ataya ataya. Put your hand on your head. Ah, you think I don't know the names? I know. I have a wife. I know. Brazilian woman. Women are wonderful people, women. Yeah, they can be they can be sitting here with you. You go and come and they have, their appearance have changed. <laughs> Put on your head. Say my head is anointed. I want you to be serious. This is our last night of this convention. Say my head is anointed. 
I release the spirit of God over my destiny in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, let my destiny receive supernatural touch in Jesus name. Shout amen. amen. Now this is what you are going to do. The moment you anoint your hand, you put the oil down. Are you with me? You lay your hand on your head. When I make the pronunciation, we will pray for some minutes. When we end, you pick the oil again. Is that clear? We are running through seven times. Is that okay? Now anoint your hand. Place on your head. Yeah, that's it. Put the oil down fast. Where is my one? Bring me the, 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 the main oil here for me. Bring it to me. Kaba, this day higher. Braka toli miatas. Put it here for me. Yes, place on your head. And say, I release the spirit of favor. I release the spirit of favor. Over my destiny. Over my destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of my Jesus. My head is anointed. My head is anointed. I carry favor. I carry favor. In my life. In my life. In my destiny. In my destiny. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. I carry favor. I carry favor. In the name of Jesus. I carry favor. 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 Let this head carry favor. Let the son of a Lord. Rakata. Rakata. Let my head, let my life carry favor, carry favor. Let the favor of the Lord go with me everywhere I go. Favor, favor. My head carries favor. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I pray, I invoke the anointing that brings favor over my life. Come on, lift your voice and pray. Rapata Kalabahaya, Rekaba Sadaba, Rikata Baya, Raba Kalabaka, Rekabala Bosataya, Rapanda Balaba Sekete, Reba Kapalawaya, Reba Kalabaya Kalabaha, Favor, 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 favor. From tomorrow, I declare the favor of God, the favor of God, the favor of God, wherever. I am, wherever I go, wherever I stand, in the name of Jesus, let favor, let favor, let favor, let favor, let Pray favor, the let the head. grace of favor, the grace of favor, the power of favor, the power of favor, come over your head, the anointing of favor, in the name of Father, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let, let it come over my life, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, in Jesus name, Amen. Psalm 45, verse 7. Take your oil quickly. As soon as you end prayer, you pick the oil, anoint your hand, and place it on your head. Because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. Anoint your head. Don't walk about and keep saying all oh, human beings are the same. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Classmates uh, ends when school finishes. You, you heard that? Take it down for me. Classmate ends when you finish school. After school, everybody picks their class. Wow. Everybody. Wow. Do you understand? So those of you who are hooked up in all these ancient WhatsApp groups of associations, doesn't work like that. When we end school, we are finished. After that, some will become top politicians. Some will become low. Some will become middle. Some, everybody picks their own class. That's how it works. Are you hearing me? So it said, because you've loved righteousness, hated wickedness, God has anointed you with something called the oil of gladness and made you more than your companions. Place on your head. I pray for you. By this second oil on your head, in the name of Jesus, may you overcome every competitor. Amen. Come on, shout a big amen. Amen. Now say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. I receive this anointing. I receive this anointing. The oil of gladness. The oil of gladness. Over my head. Over my head. Bless me. Bless me. More than my companions.
warriors. Now clap your hands and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let the oil of gladness come over my life. Let me be more than my competitors. Than my competitors. Than my companions. In the name of Jesus. Let the oil of gladness that lifts me above my companions. That sets me apart from my competitors. In the name of Jesus. Let it come. Let the power, the oil, the oil, the oil, the oil, the oil, the anointing of gladness right now. Kapala Paya Talabaha, Yakapalo Sadaya, lift up your voice and pray. Kapalu Akata, Imantele Bayosa, Ilapali Akaya, anoint me, O God, with the oil of gladness. They anoint me, O God, with the oil of gladness among the women. Among the men, among the men, Lord God, in the name of Let Jesus, in pray. my workplace, in my business, Father God, I declare, let the oil of gladness, let the oil. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take the oil quickly. Number three. I'm going seven rounds. Anoint your hand and lay it on your head. Jesus. Psalm 23, verse 5. Verse 5. Come on, come on, let's go. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. What happens? Every empty cup in your life is about to run over. Oh, I don't like that amen at all. Amen. Shout a louder amen. amen. Lay your hand on your head. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Anoint me, anoint me, and let me have and let me an have overflow blessing. An overflow Clap your hands and pray. Overflow blessing. Pray my, my cup ran over. My cup ran over. Thou anoint my let head with oil. Be anointed. Let me have an overflow. I cup running over. I running over. I running over. I running over. Blessings. I running over. Grace. I running over blessings. I running over finances. I running over as my head is anointed. Father God, let my cup run over and overflow and overflow and abundance and abundance. Clap your hands and pray. Oh Lord, this year in the name of Jesus, let me go into the overflow right now. Let my cup run over. Let my bank account run over. Let, Let run my over investments run over. Let, Let run my over properties run over. Let, Let my business run over. Run in over to say, clap your hands and pray. Run in over my fatire. He marked a boss. Shall I have it? Repaka Dani Papa. He loved by the Cosecate. He got there. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Take your oil again. Psalm 89, verse 20. Psalm 89, verse 20. I have found my servant David with my holy oil. I have anointed him. Anoint your head. Let's go. Verse 21. 21. With whom my hand shall be established. Also my arm shall strengthen him. Hold it there. Put it on your head. May God anoint you this one. And let his hand establish you. Amen. And let his hand give you strength. Amen. Say so loud. Oh Lord. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. In my walk with God. In my walk with Strengthen God. Me. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. Establish me. Establish me. In this life. In this life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And help me. And help me. To overcome. Every adversity. Every adversity. Come on, clap your hands and pray. Clap your 
voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. Father, as I anoint myself, let the anointed, let the power come over my life. Establish the white hands. Establish my hands. Let my arm be strengthened. Pray. Strengthen me. Strengthen me, Lord, for the journey ahead. Strengthen me, O oh God. Let me not be weak, pray. but let me be strong. In the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Oh Lord, with this anointing, with pray. this anointing, with this anointing, establish me. Let establish me. Establish me. Establish me. Establish me. Establish me. Lift up your and pray. Lift up your and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let my arm be strong to break the bow and the steel. Father God, establish me. Establish me. In this country, in this nation, in this state, in this city, establish me, establish me, establish me, establish me, lift your voice and pray. Establish me, establish me, establish me, somebody pray, 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 in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Establish me, me. establish me, establish me in, in the this name place. of Jesus. Amen. Shout, I am established. I am established. Shout, I am strengthened. I am strengthened. Look at your neighbor and say, Receive strength. Receive strength. 22. Take anoint your hand. Number five. Are we on number five or four? Five. The enemy shall not outwit him. Nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Place on your head. These are the pronouncement that comes after God said, I've anointed David. The enemy shall not outwit him. It means that when they come against him, they will never be able to succeed. Amen. Doesn't matter what strategy they take, Amen. they are never going to overcome David. Amen. Anoint your head. Say, my enemies cannot overcome me. My enemies cannot overcome me. Come on, say it like you are here. My enemies, my enemies cannot, cannot overcome me. Overcome me. In the name of Jesus. Name of I, am Jesus. I am anointed. I am anointed with the holy oil. With the holy oil. I am strengthened. I am strengthened by the hand of God. By the hand of God. No wickedness. No wickedness will be able, will be able to overtake me. To overtake Clap me. your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Five prayer. No enemy shall be able to outwit me this year in the name of Jesus. Father God, I declare no enemy, no adversary, no foe shall be able to outwit in the name of Jesus. To outsmart in the name of Jesus, the son of wickedness shall not be able to afflict me. Come on, clap your hands and pray. No sickness shall be able to afflict me. No pain shall be able to afflict me. No fear shall be able to afflict me. No news shall be able to afflict me in the name of Jesus. Enemies, every enemy, wherever they are, Father God, they will not be able to outwit me. God, the Rapaduce, the Amabel, the Boys, the Macalabra, the Akalabalabalaba, the Kavalabasanabaya, the Matalabalebekaya, Rapakatea, come on, living faith. Somebody clap and pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever every is coming, wickedness, in the let it be terminated in the name of Jesus. Shout and begin. Amen. Amen. Anoint number six. Number six. Oh, these two weeks you have prayed, oh. Two weeks. Do, do you feel that you have prayed? Yeah, yeah. Let your enemies pack their things and run away from your house. Look at it. Son of wickedness. Son of wickedness. Verse 23. Verse 23. 
I will beat down his foes. Beat them. Put your hand on your, the oil on your head. God said, He said, when I anointed David, another characteristic that follows is that any enemy that will come against you, I'll beat him. Amen. God, do you know what that means? I will beat down his foes before his face and plague those who hate him. Are you here? Let your hand be on your head. Anybody who becomes your foe. Are you with me? I figured out that there's a difference between enemy and foe. Enemy is someone who doesn't like you. Who doesn't, who doesn't want your success. But a foe is someone who doesn't like you and, and is in battle with you. Do you understand? Somebody can hate you and, and that's it. I don't like this woman, auntie here. I don't like her. So when I see her, I just walk my way. That's it. But if I start to orchestrate problems for you and get into battle with you, then I'm no longer your enemy. I'm your foe. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Put your hand on your head. I will beat down his foes. That's why God is using those words. I will beat. It means there is a war. There's a fight. Yeah, yeah. And someone must lose. And it, is, it will not be you. Amen. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I anoint my head. As I anoint my head. This sixth time. This sixth time. Any foe. Any foe. In my life. In my life. Let them be beaten. Let them be beaten. Right in my face. Right in Clap my your face. hands and pray. pray. Clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus, let any foe, any enemy that has become a foe, any enemy that is in battle with you, any enemy that is in battle with you, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, according to your word, beat them down, beat them down, beat them down, Raphael Kotayalaha, right before my face, right before my face, are you Prayer, are you praying? A palia pata in the enemy that has turned into a contention and a battle against us right now, Lord God, according to your word, beat them down, clap your hands and pray, clap your hands and pray right now, God, let them be beaten down, let them be beaten in the name of Jesus before my face. In the contention in my workplace, in the contention in my community, in the contention over my destiny, in the contention in my family, right now, Father, by your way, beat them down, beat them down, beat them down, beat them down, keep on praying, by your fire, beat my enemies down, destroy my foes. In my Calabosa, Rabeka Sotaya, in my Calaboriata, let them be beaten down right before me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Anybody that hates you, may God plague them for you. Amen. Shout a big amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. Number seven, anoint your hand. Psalm 132. Yeah. Psalm 132. We are not just praying from our head. We are praying from scriptures. Psalm 132 verse 17. Psalm 132 verse 17. 132. There, I will make the horn of David grow. I will prepare a lamp for my anointed. You see the anointing is here now. Verse 19. 18 sorry his enemies I will clothe with what put you on your head oh my god anybody who will stand against you after this anointing let shame cover them amen ah, your amen is looking for trouble here amen. shout a big amen amen when you are in a prayer meeting learn to scream come on shout amen amen 
He said, his enemies I will clothe with shame. Aye. But upon himself, I'll, his crown shall what? Two prayers in one. May God use shame like a garment come on, come and on. cover your enemies. Amen. Everything they wear from Peruvian hair down to their shoe. Jesus. Let it become shame. Amen. I said, let it become shame. Amen. God said, I will clothe them. They are belts, they are glasses, they are sunglasses, they are necklaces, they are they are watches. Everything shall speak shame. Amen. Oh, you are not here. Receive it. I receive it. When God begins to anoint you for your battles, Jesus. Oh yes. From today, this is the last anointing that you are doing. Anybody who is your enemy, let them be put to shame. Amen. Publicly. Amen. So when they appear, people will know that shame is coming. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch this. He said, but upon himself, I will, his crown will flourish. Your crown. Let it begin to flourish. Amen. Put on your head. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Clothe my enemies. Clothe my enemies. With shame. With shame. And let my crown. And let my crown. Flourish. Flourish. Clap your hands and pray that last prayer. Clap your hands and pray. This is the last prayer. Lord God, oh Father, according to your word, let my enemies have a garment of shame. Let them be clothed with shame. But God, upon me, let your crown flourish. Clap your hands in prayer. Lord, we activate, we activate this this word in the name of Jesus according to your word my enemies shall have a clothing they will have an outfit they will wear a shame from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet in the name of Jesus any enemy let them be clothed with shame let them be clothed with Shame. Let them be close. We save in the name of Jesus. Clap your hands. My God, upon me, let them be the crown. The crown of righteousness. The crown of glory. The crown of favor. The crown of joy. The crown. Let it flourish. 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 Let the crown. Upon my head, let it flourish in the name of Jesus. We are Palua Kapa, a Palia Pataya, the Yoka Palua Saya, the Mount Kalabaya. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Lift your hand. The Lord bless you. I said, The Lord bless you. Amen. We are regrouping in families as we did in the morning. Quickly, as the Lord is leading me, do that quickly. Find your family and stand together. We are going to do family anointing. Two minutes, two minutes, do that. I didn't say gossip union. I said family gathering. Hold your hands together. Form like a mini circle. It's very important. And let one oil. Nikabada hasotolo brokataya malakatoria masata. If your family is not here, find your friends or pick a family and join them. Look at the family that you think there's blessing there. <laughs> Hold your hands. I need that group like that. I think Bishop has the largest family here. Grama Hales to Andala Kadabahaya. Ile Balos Te Hayantalaba. Be serious. Hold the hands. Hold the hands. Look at this scripture and then we'll make that declaration. First Kings 149. The moment you become anointed, something must happen. First Kings 149. He said. So all the guests, this is Adonijah's guests. 
Adonijah is the guy who took Solomon's seat. And Solomon was anointed to take it back. Look at what happened. The moment Solomon was anointed, look at it. So all the guests who were with Adonijah were afraid. And arose. And each one went his way. They left him. Verse 50. Now Adonijah himself was afraid of Solomon. So he arose and went and took hold of the horns of the altar. From today, let your enemies see you and run. Amen. I don't like that amen at all. Amen. Shout a big amen. Amen. Your family will become as strong and fortified. Jesus. Any enemy of your family, yes. let them begin to fall. Amen. 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 I pray for your family. I release grace over your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the wickedness My that God. abounds in your God. house Jesus. from today. It comes to an end. Amen. Any satanic power that lingers within your home are commanded out. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I prophesy over you. Jesus. Your family shall be strong. Amen. Your family shall be strong. Amen. Your family shall be strong. Amen. God will raise rich men, Amen. rich women, Amen. prosperous people Amen. out of your house. Amen. In the name of Jesus, anointed. Anointed women out of your family. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I release great blessing. Jesus. Great blessing. I receive it. Great blessing. I receive it. Joshua, you are not coming. Yeah, you are the scriptures man. I pray for you. Jesus. Any kind of uh, generational curses. My God. That has been running in your house Jesus. all these years by this anointing service. My God. That curse is broken forever. Amen. By the anointing that is on the altar of living faith, that grace that is over Bishop Dominic's head, in the name of Jesus, let family generational curses be broken for good. Amen. Shut my family is free. My family is free. Shout my family is free. My family is free. Shout my family is free. My family is free. Now lift your hands, every family. Eugene, give me a voice. Lift your hands. You can lift the hand and lift your own hands. While you stand in circle. May God give every family here something to rejoice about. Amen. Oh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that. The Satan, eh? Satan, he doesn't like family units. Satan. Because everything God will do, he does it by transfer. Satan likes to disintegrate families. But I pray for you. Your family, nobody within this hall that you stand together shall be sick. Nobody here will be diagnosed of terminal diseases. Shout a big amen. Amen. Nobody here will die by accident. Amen. It is cancelled and aborted. Amen. Any pending danger waiting for you, it is cancelled. Give me this envelope. Every member, look at this, stand where you are. One person from each family, come and take one envelope. From. One person each. Just one person from one envelope for each family. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if one person takes the envelope from your circle, nobody should come again. Ah, Veronica, you're, you're, somebody took one here. You are not here. Okay, hallelujah. Okay, okay. 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 One person from each family circle. Help me, help me, help me. One person from each family. One person. One person from each family. Thank you. One person from each family. 
Watch me on the internet. Okay, and you came here today. Wow. Hallelujah. Now, is it done? Stand in family units. Don't mess it up. Now, if you are here, you don't have a family. I said, who, who here doesn't have family here? All of you that don't have families, you are individuals. Come here, form three different groups. Yeah. 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 Come in front here. It's a spiritual direction. Don't, don't play with it. The family blessing. Okay, so, so, listen. One, two, three, four. One family. Four. One, two, three, four. Hold your hands. Three, four. You are... Go and join your group then. Find a group and join. Huh? Yes. Yes, go back there. Find someone, grab their hand. And be a family unit, that's all. Now, hold the envelope, lift it up. Shh, lift it up. Father, every family is about to come to the altar and speak for their bloodline. I pray that in this anointing service, every shh, satanic voice that has been continuously plaguing families, not in living faith, not in this church, after this service, let families be blessed abundantly. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now listen, every family you need I'm giving you two minutes. You are going to raise me a song. Where is uh, my friend? Your name is David. Okay, come. You are my only good friend in this church. On the old hey, I've forgotten you. <laughs> yeah, I need, I'm going to sing. You are going to sing. Every family, you are going to do a seed sowing together. Do you understand? Do you understand? So, when, if you are four, talk among yourselves. Each one release a seed, you put it together. Do you get me? So, 100, 100, 100, 100, your family. Then you say, we are sowing 400. 50, 50, 50, you are saying, we are sowing 200. Do you understand that? I want you to make... Why are you all looking at Bishop like that? <laughs> So talk among yourselves. I want you to sow a seed for each family. Every family you need to make a sacrifice. Every family. David, where are you? Yeah, let the song go. Talk among yourselves. Don't do a small offering. It's a family sacrifice. And you drag your family to the altar. Hallelujah. Every family Hallelujah. make a sacrifice. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Yeshua reigns. Oh, Hallelujah, He reigns, He reigns. Hallelujah, He reigns, He reigns. Ah, oh, reigns, He reigns.
to the altar and make a declaration for one, two minutes and lay your offering there. Make sure it's a sacrifice. Oh, hallelujah. Come through for every family. Come through for every family. Come through for every family.
your spirit every head in here has been anointed and every family has been anointed I pray that let the blessings that comes with the anointing follow every family in the name of Jesus shout a big amen. amen please be seated please be seated Please be seated. Forever. Stand up, Auntie. Oh, Lord. The Lord is blessing you. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. Sit down. Please be seated. Be seated. If you are still coming, come. You know, the only people that didn't do family is instrumentalists. Instrumentalists. We want to pray for them. Today I'll pray for all instrumentalists. In fact, all of you come. Come, come. Let me lay my hand on you quickly. Fast, 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 fast. I'll lay my hand on you, sir. Break out and shine. Amen. Stretch your hands on them. Anybody I lay my hands on, it shall break out and shine. Break out and shine. Go and give me an offering. Break, break out, out and shine. shine. Go. Go and give me an offering. Did you do it? Yes. Okay. Hey, do you have twins in your family? Um, one died. One, you have twins, but one died. Stand here. I was going to postpone you to December. My God. <laughs> but stand here. Break out and shine. Shh. Do you know, come sir. Do you know St. Kitts? St. Kitts and Avas. Yeah, that's, right. that's where you are from. The moment I touch your head, mm, the Lord said to me, where you are now in life, you are living below capacity. God said before the end of the year, two doors will open for you. Amen. Receive it. Hallelujah. Go. Come sir. Break out and shine. Jesus. Listen, whatever has covered you, that thing has been removed. Amen. Go and give me offering. No. Break, Break out and shine. Say it again for him. Break, Break out, out and shine. Any darkness that has invaded your house, let the light from this church Jesus. shine over it. Amen. God bless you. Give me offering. Give me offering. Break out and shine. Okay. Aquaripa. Go and give me a friend. And you want to Have I finished? Yes. Okay, good one. It's up with you. You stand here for me. Stretch your hands on Auntie here. <clears throat> It's the last night. Give me small time, eh? Amen. Small time. I saw that an angel of the Lord took all your garment off and gave you something white. Amen. Then, then suddenly the Lord said to me, I should tell you, your suffering is over. Amen. Somebody injected you in a dream years ago. Years ago. But, but right here in this service, because of the anointing, that contamination has come out. Amen. Get ready for a sudden 
supernatural shift. Amen. Jesus, Come. Jesus. Let me pray for you. Kneel down. I've postponed him uh, since Sunday or so. In the name of Jesus, I declare over your life right here as you serve in this house, you will flourish. Amen. You will shine. Amen. You will do well. Amen. No devil will double cross you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give me the oil. Give me your hand. I anoint you to possess houses. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. The oil that flows from the bishop Jesus. is directly speaking for you. Amen. Directly. Amen. Let me ask you, stand. Stand and let's talk. Do you know anybody called Lilith? Sonia. Lilith. I want you to think hard because I'm going to tell you something. I see myself and these names popping in my head in uh, 1969 Chattington Avenue. And the Lord said, something is happening there that connects to you. That must be released and cause you to jump Jesus. into your next level. Jesus. You know what I saw? He's running in a race that has a lot of hurdles, but Every hurdle you jump over it. Amen. Every hurdle you jump over it. Amen. Every hurdle you jump over it. Amen. Every hurdle you jump over Amen. it. And God said, This year, by the time December comes, your joy will be so large. Amen. Hallelujah. What I'm seeing, do you drive? Do you drive? Give me a pen. Take one of one paper and write 633-408. To him. 633. Do you have a driving license? You have one? Is it on you? Bring it up. I want to cancel evil plot against you. Come on. Amen. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly. Wave your hand and shout, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Give me time, small time. Don't rush. Hmm? Don't rush at all. It's like, it's like you have nowhere to go. Stand up, madam. Come with me. Is your husband in this country? Is he in this country? Is he in this church? He's here today? Oh, then stop and bring him. Yes. 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 Mr. Husband, say. Come, say. I saw a big parcel. In the parcel, there is good health and there is long life. Amen. One is for somebody called Annette. One is for someone called Ajay. And the Lord sent me to tell you, this is your year where you are going to have long life. Amen. And you are going to have good health. Amen. Stretch your hands, clap your hands and pray for them. Father, we seal it in the name of Jesus. We seal it, we seal it, we seal it. 
We seal it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Rapa Kepo Kapandea Iman Sadam Bale Kotoria Iraba Kabala Bakabe Rebekebe Koboria Masakata Iman Taliba Koria Be Kaba Zabranche Shut your eyes. Where is this man there? You are there. I'm coming. Come on, shout prophesy. Prophesy. Leave the, the, the cloth down. Yes. Lift your eyes. Three doors have opened, but shh. Leave her, leave her, leave her alone. Yeah. But it's like um, somebody's entering the door, but there is a left hand. That is pushing. The person entering the door is called Michelle. Hmm? It's you. There's a left hand pushing you backwards. But as you stood there, I saw an anointing from this altar come straight to you. Amen. And taking you into that door. Amen. Run in front and touch the altar. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Come on, fast, fast, fast. Stretch your hands on her. Say she's entering into her door. She's entering into her door. Clap your hands and pray for Clap her. Clap your hands and pray for her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Rapatade, you are entering into that door. She's entering into that door now. In the name of Jesus. We cut off that left hand. In the name of Jesus. She is entering into that door. In the name of Jesus. By the anointing from the altar. We declare, we declare you are walking into that door now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Paleko sataya de imonta la balama kabe rapanda ya ima kabe la prosa kataya ima kabala boria be kabanda la la masa ima katoli ale kabanda maha come on keep on praying. Where am I? I'm here on this one. Eh? Okay, madam, jump, jump again. You are free. Yeah. I said you are hot. Free. You are free. Amen. Second thing, take fear from your heart. You understand? Yeah, you are too afraid of things. Be, be, be. Don't fear. You are a church member here. Yeah, huh? yeah nothing will happen to you. Amen. When you sleep. When you sleep, sleep. Just sleep. You hear me? You are fine. Bless you. Wave your hand to Jesus. You heard what I told you. You understood it. Get ready for your testimony. Amen. Do everything I've told you. And cancel what I've told you to write down. So that it will never happen. Amen. Then you will see manifestation. Of great blessings Amen. in your life. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Where do you work? You're working for? It's called ECI. You've stopped. God is going to give you something big. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You see? Praise God. You notice that before. Before now, every place you work is like you are, when they do like something like board members, like people who are in charge of things, they give it to you. Mm. Yeah. It's a sign for you to know that you are actually a business owner. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, that's why sometimes people just turn on you at workplace and you don't understand. You are not supposed to work for anybody. There is extra anointing on your head Amen. that will cause you to rise Amen. and do your own thing. Amen. You understand? What you learned and studied, you go to school, you went to school here. In this country. A little bit. 
Then, then where's the morbid? Back home. Back home. Stretch your hands. Do you know geography? That's what you did. You did geography. Did you want to do some marine stuff? Aeronautics. That's what you wanted to do. But what did you do? You've, you train in it. Don't, so advance it. The little bit is like a little bit too much. Get into it. Mm? Get into it. Your life will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Stretch your hands on him. Uh, the, 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 the thing that don't want you to finish has been put to shame. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. And the Lord tells me that you will not suffer any dizziness. Amen. Amen. Check him. Uh, he will be complaining of dizziness in the house. Make sure you check him. I'm going to pray for him. Amen. Yeah. So that that thing will not thrive again. In Amen. Jesus' name. Jesus! Amen. You are free. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give the Lord a clap of free. Amen. Come on, clap your hand for Jesus. Amen. Stand up, young lady. Amen. No, not you. you. Where are you from? You are from Ghana. Come. Is your family here? Your father and mother. My mom is in Canada. Your mom is in Ghana. Your dad is in Canada. Kenya. 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 He's working. Your father. That's where he works. Stretch your hands here. Yeah. Some three uh, Ga people. Uh, you know Ga. Accra people. You are from Accra. They are calling the name like Kwe. Mm? Like Q-U-A-Y-E. And I saw that. Uh, it's like your father is turning. Spiritually, any time he's walking, if you live here, go and talk to your father. Do you talk to him? He has heard his name mentioned behind his back twice, and he turned, and there was nobody there. The Lord says some people are calling using his ancestral family name mm. to call him so that they will send sickness to him and deport him back to Ghana. He has what? Stretch your hands here and heart problems. Yeah. Stretch your hands. It's an ancestral thing. The first person who died of heart attack was called Kwe. Stretch your hands. Clap your hands for Jesus here. Stand up and stretch your hands. Death, I saw. The Lord said they have traced into their family. And they want to take what has happened before and bring it to affect your father. Heart attack. Come here. Who died of heart attack? My mom's mom. Your mother's mother died of heart attack. Stretch your hands. Say, we will send it back to sender. We send it back to sender. Oh, are you here or you are not here? Say, we send it back to sender. We send it back to sender. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any heart attack. Any heart attack. We send it back. We send it back. Alaba send alaba hayataya. Don't cry. Don't. Oh. Oh, we send it back, 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 we send every sickness back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands. This is this is spiritual atmosphere. A lot of things that the devil do. Eh? Yeah. They are taking the heart attack from the Jesus. woman and sending it. Jesus. Favor on all of you here. Amen. Great favor on all of you here. Amen. Supernatural favor on all of you here. Amen. Now if you are here and you are a nurse or you work in a hospital, come. Come quickly, quickly. Madam, you are free. Amen. 
I said you are what? Free. Your father won't die. Nothing happened to him. Amen. Do you hear me? I rebuke that evil. In Jesus' name. Yeah, it's it's a recent happening. Lift your hands. All of you, nurses and uh, doctors and uh, every other thing. I lay my hand on you. You won't have any problem. In Jesus' name. Man. When I touch you, you can't go. If you're a nurse, I touch you. Go and sow a seed and bring it to me. All nurses. I cancel every satanic agenda. Health workers. Jesus. Jesus. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. Stretch your hands on this woman. You are married. Stretch your hands here. You will not, you will not bury anybody Amen. by the name of Samuel. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Samuel. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Who is that? Your husband. Stretch your hands. You and your brother. Your husband and your older brother. Which one of them is called Kwame? Stretch your hands here. Your husband and your older brother. Where's your older brother? He's in London. No, 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 no. Stretch your hands. How many years are you apart from your older brother? Yeah. Stretch your hands. Yeah. You don't know his name proper. Stretch your hands here. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Your husband is in America here. He comes to church here. I want to pray for you first before I tackle that matter. Do you know Adaklu? What's there? Your hometown. Stretch your hands here. Your, your, um, Bishop, what's the name of this thing? The umbilical cord is buried there and is dragging you back. Stretch your hands. The Lord showed me your family house. And the Lord said, we must pray and uproot it so that you can move forward faster. Than where you are now. Adaklu. I want you to find out who is called Klu. That's your father's name. Stretch your hands to everybody. Say any curse. Any curse. In her bloodline. In her bloodline. We cancel it. We cancel it. Clap your hands and pray right now. Clap your hands and pray. In the curse in your bloodline. We cancel it. In the name of Jesus. In the curse. Kamala bo shataya maha. Repa katala bo riabe. Ima tala bala katoni mika. We cancel. We cancel. In the curse. In your bloodline. In the curse. In your family. In the curse. From your father's body. Background and your mother's background, we cancel by fire. Somebody clap your hands and pray. Rapaka Tony Mika, Iba Kapele Mesanabaya, Iba Rosaka Tayamaha, by the blood of Jesus, we cancel that curse, we cancel that curse, we cancel that curse, we cancel that curse. We cancel that curse. We... Stretch your hands here, please. Can we stand up? Oh, yes, you know, help, help, senior brother. When you go ask, I told him that which one of them is called Kwame. He said his brother is called Kwesi. I'm telling her that your brother was born midnight of Saturday. It was not Sunday. But before they clean him up, they said it's called Sunday. But it's called Saturday. Wow. Stretch your hands there. Yeah. Yeah. His spiritual diagram, they locate him Saturday, 11.58 in the night. Yeah, that was when he was born. Stretch your hands. By the spirit of the Lord. Uh, any plottings against
spends his life and your husband's life Jesus. this year, you are not burying any Samuel. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything connected to your birth that was buried, My that God. has been fighting you, I command it to be uprooted. Amen. Come on, I'm gonna shout, she's free. She's free. Shout it again. She's free. Shout it three times. She's free. She's free. She's free. Take back your glory. Amen. 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 Clap your hands for Jesus. You know, lift your hands. I'm preaching in a church. I'm coming. And, and I say to this woman, who is Cecilia? She says, I'm Mary. I said, you are not Mary. Then she waits for everybody when they please. Say, it's my document in the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Apostolic Church, South London. Yes. Everybody knows her as Cecilia. Uh, so when I say, who is Mary? Trouble is coming. He said, he said, I'm Cecilia. The pastor said, he's called Cecilia. I said, I said, pastor, leave me alone. I've been prophesying for over a decade. I said, leave me alone. He said, okay, okay, okay. Then when everybody's not looking, he said, prof, it's my paper name. They don't know about it. <laughs> Lift your head. <laughs> then I kept quiet. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, okay, no problem. I release blessings. Over your life. Amen. Lift your hands. I see deposits of miracles. Amen. Take it. Listen. The Lord is blessing you. Who brought this woman here? Who brought you? He doesn't speak English. But you are speaking English. You brought it. Okay. Calibra Hassan Anything that is sitting on you is broken. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Lift it up for me. There is a spirit of a snake. My God. Lift your hands. God. That has been on her My God. for 16 years. Jesus. By this atmosphere. God. It's leaving you. Jesus. It's leaving you. Jesus. It's leaving you right now. Jesus. Jesus. Right. Any demonic spirit That's it. Take your favors. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Whatever has been delayed. My God. Take it. Take it. Take it. Jesus. Receive favor for your next level. Whatever you need to count and receive, let it come to you. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. Take back your blessing. Take your blessing. Take your blessing. Take your blessing. Press my oil. I'll finish with you, David. Follow my instructions. All right. Write that number down. You know what I told you to do. You remember? Yes. Do it exactly like that. And there will be no issue in your life. Amen. Get ready for elevation. Amen. And keep serving. All right? Amen. Yes. Amen. Favor. Favor. I said I'll pray for you. Jesus. Father, Come. I pray that yes, nothing will dry up in your house. Amen. Nothing. My God. Will dry up around you. Amen. Nothing. Amen. Will dry up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I release extra favor. My God. Oh my God. Jesus. Take it. Any attack against your health. Stretch your hands here. 
Stretch your hands here. We are reversing Jesus. attack of stroke. My God. It is going back to sender today. Amen. Clap your hands and pray right now. Likada na bahaya tosa. Mireko to na bahaya tis. Ikada bada bana bosetis. Every sickness. I cancel every arrow. I cancel it. Shot right now. Cancel it. Rapaye kabaya. Rapaka tala boya sa. Rapaye kabaya baba ba. Rapako sada baya. We cancel every attack of stroke right now clap your hands and pray we declare in the name of Jesus I just asked the wife something, stretch your hands here My God. what did I ask you? Uh, I asked you that do you know any house number 155 you said that's where you live yes. stretch your hands here 155 yes. Krari, Krari. I saw this spirit from your background flying and bringing stroke. But the Lord said, by the covenant is this church, that attack is backfired. Backfire! Oh, it's backfired. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. In the name of Jesus, we command it to backfire. 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 Right now. Kapale Sotaya. Jesus. Rape Kataya. Every arrow of stroke. Every arrow of stroke. We command it to backfire. 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 Come, sir. Come for me. Quickly, briefly. 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 Stretch your hands on him. God wants to give you two opportunities. All right. You don't want it. You want it. Stretch your hands here. Yeah. Let me go back here, sir. You are fine. Amen. Oh, clap for Jesus. Clap. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord. 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 You see, last time, Bishop, I went into a church in London and I told one of the he was like a big man in front. Mm. And I told him that. When are you going to 1055? He said, he said, this year. He said, next year. And I said, don't go to your country. Don't travel. In my face, he said, oh, I'm just first prophet. So I left him. And I think that he's the one paying for the pastor's building. So the pastor was afraid of him. So I left him. I just left him. And the pastor after, he said, Prof, sorry. I said, look, tell the man that I'm not a false prophet. Mm. So he should be careful what I've told. Then the pastor, I'm not sure he told him or not. Three years after, I'm in church in London. This woman comes to my office, mm. queued to see me when she came. She's carrying the husband's photo and an obituary. I, I don't remember. Mm. Then she says, Prof, do you know me? I said, no. He said, you came to our church. My husband was sitting there. You told him not to travel to Zimbabwe. I said, oh, I remember. I said, was he? He said, yes. He said, he's dead. He said, exactly what you said. You told him that don't travel because one of your brothers will call you for some family issues and you won't return. Mm. And the woman brought it to me. He said, prof, I've said it and said it and said it. He didn't listen. Oh, yes. Everybody knows about this in London. Everybody knows the story. Lift your hands. So pay attention. Because God, he, he used Bishop to put this program together. It's not coincidence. So that from time to time, he will come through and clear all satanic assignments. Amen. Because as long as you're a prayerful believer, yeah. Satan will be setting traps here and there. Come on. Here and there. Yeah. Here and there. Do you understand? Yeah. And the prophetic anointing, people say, oh, prophets are always talking about Negative things. Mm. It's because prophetic anointing is for exposing the devil. That's oh. all. I can't talk for any other pastor, oh. but me, my prophetic anointing, mm. mostly is for exposing evil plots. My God. Yeah. Mostly. Mostly. 
I pray for you, Mama. Jesus. You're a good woman. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. That woman there, run to me. Yes, straight. Run, run. You look like you are not the one I'm talking to. I anoint you. Rise and shine. In Jesus' name. Take your blessings. In Jesus' name. Hey, your blessings are coming upon you. Your blessings are coming upon you. Your blessings are coming upon you. Your blessings are coming. Your hand shall carry reward and favor. Jesus. Amen. My God. My God. Jesus. My God. Jesus. Get ready for a turn around. Amen. This woman, she has been seeing visions of late. Yeah, she's been seeing some visions of late, this mm. woman. Mm. But God said he's giving you grace. Mm. And the visions and dreams you are having will never come to pass. Jesus. Because it's troubling your mind. My God. Be free. Amen. And walk in God's glory. Amen. Be free. Amen. And walk in God's glory. Amen. Amen. Walk in God's glory. Amen. Take her to the altar. My God. Give me your hand, Auntie. You are blessed. Now, all church workers, come. All those working for church, ushers, uh, uh, oh, protocols, media. You know, why are you afraid to come for it? Come and line up. Everybody, I want to pray for you. Why are you? Yes. Worship you. Worship you. You turn the lives around. We worship you. We worship you. Oh, that's right. favored. Walk in God's mercy. Stand on this altar. Sit here. Sit there. Sit. Lift your hands. Hey, all of you are church workers. Yes. My God. That's like somebody's church twice. Hallelujah. Our bishop is blessed. Lift your hands. Like somebody's church three times, not twice. <laughs> Yes, somebody church in bronze three times. I release a blessing over you. I receive it. Let the grace in this house lift it. you Amen. to your next level. Amen. And cause you to attract blessings. Amen. In all that you do. Amen. Find favor in all things. Amen. Find favor in all things. Amen. Now, all church workers, I want you to come and tap my hand. I was going to say shake my hand, but. The other day, I didn't like that at all. So just tap it and go and give me offering. Quickly, whatever offering you can do. Tap my hand and go and do your zeal and your PayPal and bring it to me. Quickly. Touch my hand. Touch quickly, quickly. Receive. Receive. Come on, tap my hand. That's it. Quickly. That's it. You are carrying the blessings and the favor. I hope you are consistent church worker. Quickly, quickly. You are in media. Blessings. 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 Hey, Madam, come. There's a lady that will come around. Her name is Sophia. Hmm? Sophia. Um, 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 I'll come and whisper it to you. I won't say it here. Yeah, I won't say it here because it will become a problem. 
Quickly, quickly, quickly. Moses, be blessed. Jesus, quickly, quickly. Yes. 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 Let's do it fast. Let's do it fast. Let's do it fast. Church workers, blessings, blessings, blessings. How are you? Blessings, we are done. Stand on your feet. Come. I bless you. I cancel every plot that runs in the bloodline. I release you. I set you loose in the name of Jesus. Is your mother alive? You need to keep her in prayer, okay? Pray for her. The Lord preserve her and keep her from evil. In the name of Jesus, I pray and protect Winifred from every evil. Winifred from every evil. Winifred from every evil. Jesus! It is done. Go and play your tent. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, first lady, you are not church worker. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, come on, come and drop your offering. You are blessed. Bless. Your name Bless. is Yahweh. God is with you. Oh, Your name is Yahweh. Oh, Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Have you been blessed? Rise up on your feet and give the Lord a clap offering. We want to pray for this woman. And then I'll wrap up. If you are doing business, get your bank card or your business letter or something. Lift it up. Let's stretch our hands on this woman here. We are praying for her that oh, God has blessed you and made you a kingdom supporter. Amen. Yes. yes. Don't never let anything quench you. The Lord said to me, He will give you multiple abundance of life Amen. and blessings from strangers Amen. and cause your feet to be established. Clap your hands and pray for Him intensively. In the name of Jesus, As you sit on this altar. We command and seal the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree right now that which you have made her, let her be established in the name of Jesus. Branda Bashekata, Ila Palakade, Barato Sande Abaha, Iman Taliba Subrea Yakata, Rode, Veke Talabaya, Mekaba, Rab Baseko Talabaha. Lift your bank cards, business document, whatever it is. God bless you. God bless you, madam. You heard your instructions. Follow it carefully. Yeah? Follow it carefully. Watch out for that woman. Oh. Watch out for that woman. Okay. Lift your hands. Bank, whatever. I pray that. What is it? I pulled you. The Lord cover you and preserve you and put your enemies to shame. Amen. All your enemies, they will be put to shame. Amen. Mm, you are a church member. It's my second time. It's your second time. Yeah, I'm a guest. I'm 
Oh, you're against. Listen. Anybody that stands against you will be put to shame. Amen. But I need you to intensify your prayer life. You know where this church is. You've seen the address. Make this place your continuous coming. You understand? Continuously come. Um, 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 Sunday morning. Is there Friday service? Thursday. Thursday. Saturday. Saturday morning, Jericho hour. Be here because there when you were standing there, a lot of enemies are around you looking to stop you from progressing. But the Lord scattered them all. Amen. When you find deliverance in a place, you make it your home Amen. so that your life will change. Amen. Are you going to listen to what I'm saying? You will see what God will do for you. Go let the bishop lay his hand on you and then make this church your home. Pastor Jonathan, you talk to him. All right? Talk to him after in Jesus. Lift your bank cards. If you owe any debt and it's drowning you, may God intervene. Amen. <laughs> the way some of you went, hey, it's like, may the Lord intervene. Amen. And cancel every debt. Amen. Over your head. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy the blessings of the Lord. Your business will flourish. Amen. Your business will flourish. Amen. Your business will flourish. Amen. Your finances will flourish. Amen. You will do well. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Put it down. I want you to lift your hand and thank God. Let's thank God for this thank convention. Lord. Let's thank God for bringing us to thank the last you, day thank you, of this convention. Thank Everybody, you, thank Him. Thank you, Father. We give you thanks, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Him. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank God. Father, we thank you for Lord, we thank you. Conference in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. Bless your name. Bless the For a successful conference. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lift your two hands one more time. We want to thank God for two minutes again. Listen, God has been good to us. Amen. You understand? Yeah. I was chatting to Bishop today and he was telling me anything at all could have happened that this conference wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, I don't live here. I came from London all the way here. You get me? But God making it possible, making everybody okay, bringing us throughout these two weeks. Yeah. It's a blessing. Amen. And speaking to us, do you know what it means for God to be speaking to us every blessed day? Every blessed day, God is releasing prophetic word. Every blessed day, every blessed day prayer points is by the grace of God. Amen. Lift your hands and thank God that thank you have been part of this blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Second bottle. Take your second bottle. Lift it up. Jeremiah 19:10. This one, don't open it. Don't open it to close it. Jeremiah 19:10. Pay attention to it. Pay attention. It's a direction God showed me long time ago. It's like 10 years now. Yeah. And it's always, I do it anytime there is a serious battle around. Jeremiah 19 10. As the media closed. Then shall thou uh, break the bottle. Give me that one. In the sight of the men who go with you. 
Go, the, the next one. The next one. Um, 11. And shall thou say unto them, Thou sayest the Lord of hosts, even so will I break these people and this city. You got it? Yes. Leave the bottle. Anybody troubling you? Jesus. In this country, My God. as you break the bottle, My God. let that battle be broken. Amen. Let the battle be broken. Amen. Let the battle be broken. Amen. Now look at me. If there is a battle in your workplace, battle over your marriage, battle that is troubling you, I want you to take this bottle. Go out of your house. Eh? You understand? Where you can break the bottle without spoiling anybody's car. Find a good place. Lift it up and say, Lord, do it in the night. You say, Lord, as I break this bottle, let all my battles be broken. And let it come to an end. And smash the bottle, let it break. Do you understand? Yeah. And go back to sleep. Amen? Amen? Put the bottle down. Let me do my last instruction. Now, the Lord just spoke this to me. Bishop, I was going to give you the mic. But everybody stand. Please. Give me one minute. The Lord just pressed this on my heart. The project you are doing in Ghana. Have you been there? How many of you have been there before? Yeah. If you go there and you see the work that, that he's doing, it's, it's, it's admirable. You understand? It's. Now, with all humility and respect, I've closed, but the Lord just laid this on my heart. I want to raise some people now and give you uh, the next week or two, you understand? To find this seed and bring it to the man of God for this project specifically. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Let your destiny, I know that you've been helping a lot, but I'm living, but God just pressed on my heart as a son to do this for the church. Is that okay? Yes, Is that okay? Yes. I need 50 people to come and stand here and pledge a seed. Just come here. Pledge a seed. The Lord is telling me that we should raise $50,000 so that Bishop can use it to do some of this work. Are you here? Yes, sir. Giving free education to, uh, to, to, to non-privileged children. Oh, clap your hand properly. The sanctuary is built. The, the, he needs to do computer centers. The other day he took me around. My God, I was saying in my head, wow, wow, what a man of God. Do you understand? What a man of God. Come and stand here with me. I want you to take a step here. You want to just pledge it. Maybe next week or next two weeks you will release it. Or maybe end of the month you will do it. I want you to come and stand with me. Come and stand with me. You can do thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I want you to come and stand with me. Come and stand here with me. Now, lift your hands whilst you are here. The Lord sees your heart. The Lord, if I get fifty people, I'll be very happy. Whenever it's ready, one week or two weeks, get it to the house. All right, and let God bless you. Bishop, please sit down for one minute for me. Please, respectfully. Lift your hands. Come, come forward. I still want you to come. Michael. Hey, David. Not Michael, David. Raise a song for me. Now, whatever you want to pledge, I want you to go and tell the man of God. Quickly, whisper it to him. Raise me a song. Go and whisper it to him. Go and whisper oh, it to him. Lord. Don't just whisper it to him. Whisper it and touch the altar and when let it become a vow. Awesome yeah. Um, um, when do you want to do it? You are tired. I hear the That's it. Your destiny is tied to the sanctuary. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, oh, how great.
said to laugh always. In Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, God will never forget you. Oh, this is my soul, my Savior God today. Oh, how great thou art. Great, how great thou art. This is my soul, my Savior God today. Oh, how great thou art. I see the sun, I see the sun, oh, I hear the rolling thunder, oh, the power of the universe is in the same. Rise on your feet and give the Lord a clap of praise. How are you? God bless you. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Let's welcome the bishop. I'll see you another time. God bless you all. building the school that's what they are roofing right now dr colin remember yes they just roof it today they will finish tomorrow amen that's that's very good I'm, i mean i'm 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 very happy because i god can use me to be a blessing to a lot of people come on put your hands together you know When, when, if Jesus tarries and you walk out of this earth, one of the greatest things you want heaven to remember is the work you did while you were here on earth. The people who couldn't help themselves, that you stretch forth your hand to help them instead of using the money to buy a house and rent and, you know, buy a car and buy this and that and jewelry and all that, you, you chose to use the resources God gave you to help the needy and the poor. Amen. Amen. And that's, put your hands together. Amen. I was so happy and I'll tell you why, because when it rains, Dr. Collins, you were with me, when, when it rains, it's in the rainy season right now, so when it rains, the water comes from the top all the way to the classroom at the first level. So anytime it rains, they have to close the school because of the flood. But thank God, those of you who gave last time, you helped me to be able to roof it so that problem is gone. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. And then... I told you, help me to bless the man of God. Those of you who took the envelope, I want you to bring me the envelope. If you were not here and you want to say, the Bible says, he who gives a cup of water to a prophet shall never lose his reward. So if you are here and you want to be a blessing to this servant of God, you can come and take an envelope from me right now and do that and let me release you. You took an envelope, you can bring it. 
God bless you, my son. You need an envelope, come and take one. You want to bless the man of God, just be a blessing to him. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's okay. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Don't forget Thursday night. Amen. Thursday night success in life. I'm teaching on order. How to order your life. Amen. And then Friday, uh, Saturday morning, we also have what? Jericho hour. The, lady, the Living Ladies Conference comes on next week. Uh, next two weeks. From the 15th to the 18th. And don't miss it. All living ladies, let's come together. You see, church is stronger when we are doing things and all of us are united doing it for the glory of God. Can I have amen? So let's do this together for the glory of God. In Jesus' name. I love you all. God richly bless you. Can we all stand together? <laughs> Lift up your hand. I am praying for you that your testimony will be permanent. Amen. Your healing will be permanent. Amen. Your miracle will be permanent. Amen. The impartation over your life these two weeks, I pray that you, you carry this fire along. Amen. Don't let this fire go down. Amen. Don't let this fire go down. Amen. Keep the fire of prayer and dedication and commitment going. Say amen. amen. And may the Lord protect your house. May the Lord give you everything you are looking for. Amen. I pray that your heart desire shall come to pass. Amen. You will never go under, but you shall go over. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the Son, may, may heaven favor you. Amen. And may the earth upon which you walk, may the earth Accept your sacrifice Amen. and speak comfortably for you. Amen. I lift up my hand as your pastor and I speak blessings over you and your household. Amen. There will be no premature death here. It can't, it can't happen in your house and it can't happen in my house. If in case you are involved in an accident, people will be hurt by you. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. May you never lack for anything. Amen. I pray that your bank accounts will never run dry. Amen. I pray that your fridge will never run dry. Amen. Your pantry will never run dry. Amen. Every day there shall be food in your house. Amen. I lift up my hand and I declare and speak blessings over you. In Jesus name. Amen. Say amen. amen. Let's share the grace together. Surely, Amen. God bless you. You still have your offering. Come and drop it. You still have your offerings. Come and drop your offering. Come and drop your offering.